Hello people. Today I think I'm gonna start another vlog. This one's uh, kind of themed. No, is themed the right word? I don't know. The reason I want to vlog is because like I actually am motivated to read when I vlog, but also I am currently reading Persuasion by Jane Austen, which is my first ever Jane Austen. Now I've tried to read this like when I first first bought it. I read like five pages and I just couldn't like I just didn't care. I just didn't even try it. But I think it was the time. I just wasn't really feeling it. But, like, Jane Austen, classic woman. We all, we all know her. Everyone loves her. And I've just never read her before. Like, how preposterous, some may say. And I know, like, Pride and Prejudice is where to start. Well, I don't fucking own Pride and Prejudice. And I'm not going to go buy it when I already have this one. I think I have, I also have Mansfield Park, but that shit's long. And I'm like, let's, let's start small. Honestly, I'm just kind of feeling it because I haven't been reading a lot and I love classics like um, in case you didn't know I'm actually like a big classics reader like I used to like this used to be like the majority of what I read Victorian classics are my favorite so like Like Charles Dickens love that man even though he talks so much But uh, I'm kind of in the mood. I want to read more classic women I don't think I have read many classic women. I've read like Frankenstein and Mary Shelley I did not like it and then I've read a couple of Edith Wharton um, Ethan Frome, The Age of Innocence, and I've enjoyed both of those, and she is the classic woman, so it is time, time I go, time I give it a go, um, the other night I read 30 pages just to see if I would actually, like, read and continue and, like, be into it, and it's, it's fine so far, I'm waiting for it to get super dramatic, and maybe the stakes will be high and I'll actually be into it, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. In case I get tired of this, I also have with me 20th Century Ghost by Joe Hill, which is his short story collection. I'm trying to get through all of Joe Hill's books because I fucking love him. He's like one of my new favorite authors. He's phenomenal. I am not a person who reads multiple books at a time. I just never really, it's not necessary. The only time I read multiple books at a time is when it's like a short story collection. I can read a couple and set it down like, and it's not gonna affect me how long I, am away from the book or if I'm reading like a classic like a very thick like a Charles Dickens for example because they're super long and like take a while to get through sometimes you can just get like muddled and then you're like oh I don't want to like read something this dense so you just pick up something in between so like I got them both um that's the goal right now it's like 11 o'clock I think it's Saturday who knows I'm thinking I'm gonna make some chamomile chill out got candles a going and a shower, read, see where the night goes. Cool, 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 cool. Keep you posted. Hello, it is the next night, and I only read for about like 30 minutes last night because I was like coloring with my little sister. I got busy, but I am currently on 51 of Persuasion. So I read like 20 pages last night, which is fine. I still haven't put in my Goodreads. Anyway, so far, oh my god. Like, we haven't gotten to the plot plot yet, like, it's building up because they just, like, the family people, they're back. Whatever, like, it's, the romance shit hasn't started yet. Oh my god, I am Anne. They treat her so badly, it's literally me. They're like, yeah, she's not important. Oh, she's never busy. Who cares about her opinion? Oh, as long as she's out of the way. Like, and then it's like, when she's like, I was busy, like, what could you possibly be doing? Like, what? You don't have life. But then they all use her as the middleman, and then they just, like, tell her all this shit, and they want her to go, it's so funny. And I'm like, that's me. So I'm kind of, like, low-key into it. Um, right now, do, um, I am breaking out in hives all over my face. Hopefully you cannot tell because camera quality shit because I'm be literally using my phone. Um, it's so bad and so itchy. I just took a shit ton of pills, which these pills are the heavier duty ones and they kind of make me a little like loopy and out of it and I actually do sleep. So I think I might shower because like I need to figure out what the fuck, uh, why I am like this. So I'm going to shower, cleanse my body, and then maybe read more and hopefully I'll actually sleep tonight. That might be fun. But I'll keep you posted. So far, I actually, it's all right. Hello, I don't know the last time I checked in, but it is currently April 30th, and I just have just over 100 pages, like 110, and I would have liked to have finished it today, because I would like to have gone into May starting fresh, and then like I can actually be like in a reading mood, and like actually start reading again, but I don't know if I can, because it's already like 11, and I was out for like the majority of the evening, so I didn't get to read, and being out just fucking drains me, 
So I'm like super tired, but I know I wouldn't fall asleep if I just laid here. But I don't know if I have the brain capacity to be reading, especially like something like dense like this. But okay, so far, it's kind of like I don't care. Like you, ha there's no point being made. Like what you think? I genuinely have no idea what this is about. I thought it was like romance and drama, right? Isn't that what Jane Austen is? I don't fucking know. But we're not really getting anything. And like the read, Jane Austen was Georgian era right right before victorian i'm pretty sure but like everything from like the 1800s all they her characters read like any other character from any book from the 1800s like fucking um the brontes and dickens it, they read like any of those characters they're very just like one-dimensional and they all fit a certain trope from that era it's like this is the distressed wife this is the stupid clergy like they all read the same even, I, their main character, Anne, is a little, she has some going on, but, like, not really. She's kind of a dumbass. Too. They're all kind of just annoying and melodramatic over their nothing. And it's, like, it's just boggled down with details of, like, characters and places that don't really add anything. And I'm, like, so is she going to get with this dude? And then there's other dude. I'm, like, can it just, like, happen? And can you stop, like, eating dinner at these people's houses that I don't care about? With that being said, it's all right. It's not, like, it's what I was expecting going into any classic like this, like, mm -hmm. I'm more so just reading this to s get a feel for her writing and characters, but I think it's nothing special, maybe it is just the specific book and her other ones are better and more she's going on, because this is a very short one, so I don't think she can pack in all of her drama, this is probably just a whatever, I don't know which, I don't know publication order of her books, I think I'm gonna look that up after I finish this, but anyway, I'm almost done with it, I might try to finish it now. I'm just so like, ugh. Like it is only like 110 pages, but it is a classic, so it takes a little bit longer. I have an hour. We'll see. We'll see. All right, we just got a fucking hashtag ad in here. Hashtag spawn. Um, the dad's like talking to Anne. He's like, "Wow, you look so good. What have you been doing?" And she's like, "Nothing." He's like, "It must be Gowland." And it's like, um, gallon dilution with a power just can treatment contain mercury or whatever. And he's all like, wow, well, you must be using this. You're like, no. And then he's all like, um, you cannot be better than well, well, I should recommend gallon, the constant use of gallon during the spring months, blah, blah. And I'm like, this is just an ad. What? Oh my God. What a sellout. Jane Austen. Wow. Wow. Capitalism. Consumerism. Consumerism, dare I say. Who cares? Who cares? Okay, the funniest thing about shit and back in like these times is everybody's fucking married and fucking their cousins and shit. Like everybody's fucking related to everybody because you got to keep in the family and all this fucking ranking shit. And so, and they're like trying to set her up with like the cousin or whatever or something stupid. And the big thing is like, oh, well, what we'll about his character? All this stuff in the past. He's too agreeable, this and that. Those are the deal breakers. And I'm like, maybe um, he's your fucking cousin. Why is that not the deal breaker? Like, times were so different back then. And it's so funny to read because now I'm like, what the fuck? But back then, that's just like how it was. And it's so fucking ridiculous. Where I'm like, no, what's wrong is that he's your cousin. That's why you can't marry him. Anyway, there was a plot twist, kind of, but it doesn't matter because even if this wouldn't have happened, you still know that she's gonna end up with the fucking captain. Do I like this? Not really. I wish there would have been more drama. I was expecting more drama than if them, the other two just falling in love and then these two finally being like, well, I guess we're still in love. But I guess that's a plot twist. Good on you, Jane Austen. Good on you. All right, y'all, it is now May 1st, and I have finally finished Persuasion by Jane Austen, my first ever Jane Austen I've completed. I gave it a two stars on Goodreads, and that isn't even me saying, like, I thought it was awful or bad. The thing is, it just wasn't all that special. It just read like any other classic, and I was expecting, like, peak romance, peak drama, because, like, those people love, right? And she, like, one, the, like, love interest and the main character... Like the main love interest didn't even say more than five words to each other until 
like 170 pages in and this is like my edition is 238 pages so I'm like what and it would have been different if it was like pining and all this going on but it really wasn't it was muddled down with all these characters and like family members and places that didn't add anything like I didn't care that they went on and on about the fucking cousin who you know she's not gonna marry or end up with like he wasn't even a viable option like a he was like fucking Jacob from like Twilight like she wasn't gonna choose him I didn't care I didn't need more reason to like see that or like why he wasn't a good option I just I didn't care so I didn't care that he had this whole backstory and all this shit I just it wasn't that special sorry yikes I didn't love it it wasn't that great like it was kind of boring and there were so many people that, like the characters and like their lives and I'm like I don't care that's it like and then like the romantic shit like maybe there was like two lines where she tried to be like super like and my heart felt the love of a thousand cents I don't fucking know but like that kind of shit so like two lines like that and it was just like like but I'm thinking that I don't hear people talk about this book a lot, honestly, but it's so short and tiny and I need to look up publication date and see if this was like one of our first ones or whatever. Because I know like Pride and Pride of this is like phenomenal, right? And maybe, maybe the longer ones have more in it. And this was just short and she was just like, I don't know, I'm gonna fucking write something. But, um, mm, like I'm not like keen on picking up the rest of her stuff. I do have Mansfield Park, so I am gonna obviously read that. I don't want to like immediately pick it up now after reading this, but like, it was, it was alright, it was like, like a basic classic, you know, like, yeah, I get it, nothing too grand going on here, am I happy I read it, yeah, because now I can say I've actually read Jane Austen, the Austen heads, the Austen lights, the Austenites, what do y'all call it yourselves, fucking nerds, pretentious dumbasses, that's mean. I'm pretentious, so like, it's okay if I say that. I read Dickens and I think I'm like, better than people because of that, right? We love our dead white people. But yeah. That's it. it was this a boring vlog? I don't know. I am happy I have my initial thoughts on my first ever Jane Austen. Have y'all read Persuasion? Tell me I'm not the only one. Tell me her other books actually have like, real shit going on. They're not just like any other classic that's just like, and now you're in this place eating dinner with these people and now you're gonna hear a hundred pages about their lives that don't add anything to the actual story or the main character's life. Tell me her other stuff is better. Please. I am begging you. But um, that's it I guess for this video. Thank you for watching. That's it.